Hi, this is Emily Zlanian with TV Guide Magazine and TVInsider.com, and I'm here with the cast of Love Classified, which is a part of Hallmark Channel's Spring Into Love movie event. Mom, look at this place. You really did it. What are you doing here? Well, I thought it was time to come and see what my children have been up to. And I mean, uh, just look at this. The pots and the plants. And it's just fantastic. And you really looked the part of a scrappy young business owner. Because I am, Mom. This is not a costume. No, no, it sure is not. Of course, I know that. <laughs> it's so great to see you, Taylor. I really missed you. <laughs> so tell me about Amelia Bloom. What is her deal? She is returning to this town and she's got a lot of baggage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she she kind of left with heartbreak and comes back to heal that heartbreak, um, which is really has shown up in the form of this disconnect between her and her older, her grown children. And um, and uh, because of that, she's also had some heart issues. <laughs> so uh, so she has some healing to do both physically and emotionally. And uh, and she's a real whirlwind of a person who is isn't completely connected to doing that and I think that the, the the issues the health issues have kind of forced her into a position of having to face some things that she'd been running from yeah so she's she's back in town and she also has a book that she is promoting as a romance she's novelist done. would you say she's more in town to promote the book or more in town to connect with her kids again I think it looks like uh, that she's more in town to to promote the book but you find out that really she's come back to to kind of, you know, she had a real scare, a health scare that makes her realize that she needs to really take care of, of, of the important things, which is obviously, what are we gonna remember on our deathbed? We're not gonna remember every book we've written or every project we've done. We're gonna remember the people that are around us, the people that we love. And so she, I think she sort of realizes this and says, I'm gonna use this as, you know, and I think it's hard for her. I think as, as somebody who isn't normally um, that, in relationship with her own uh, fears and wounds and, you know, that she uh, she kind of runs into her books and goes and buries herself into her writing and into these wonderful, beautiful romance stories that she creates. And um, <clears throat> now she realizes she has to take care of her own heart and her own, her own love story. And I wouldn't say, I don't know if estranged is the right word, but there's definitely a strained relationship between her and her two kids. What does that relationship look like when she's back? Yeah, there's a lot of tension. And I think maybe even more tension than she had uh, anticipated, especially with her daughter. And, um, and I think that, you know, her daughter is kind of quite like her. And, and therefore, she also kind of covers her, her feelings in a similar way by sort of diving into and burying herself in, in her work which they're both very passionate about the things that they're doing and, um, and they can you know, hide in that. And so, uh, so they, have to, they have to work hard to, to come back together. Pat McNamara. So Love Classified is really, I like, I like the premise for this specific Hallmark movie. You get a multiple point of view, you get a family story in there. It's a mom who's a romance novelist. She returns to town where her two adult children are trying to survive and thrive. Um, and <laughs> all of her Hallmark Channel spring into love event. And yeah, Taylor is kind of really surviving and thriving. Um, she's just a blooming business owner. So Literally. Tell me about that. <laughs> So Taylor is um, a workaholic to say the least. And she is one who, you know, she's been through a lot in the last several years with her father passing and her mother just sort of leaving town and leaving Taylor to pick up the pieces of her, her relationship with her brother and this sort of life that they have in this town. And uh, she throws herself into being this caretaker and into her career and sort of shuts down the emotional side of who she is. Um, and that tends to put a, a bit of a roadblock up for her in a lot of aspects of her life where, you know, when things are kind of thrown for a loop, when her mother comes back into town and when the story kind of kicks off, she decides to start a new chapter and to take a leap of faith and see what's out there. And it, it surprises her in a lot of ways. 
she does have a connection with um who is a female cardiologist yes and this is this is what I think is so beautiful about this movie and it says a lot about where Hallmark is and it says a lot about where we are as kind of a, a society right now and as a culture and that we do have opportunities to tell these stories that are more inclusive but you know very much in the way that Schitt's Creek did the whole love the wine not the label situation which I love this movie does something very similar in which it just allows these characters to be surprised by love and by where it comes from and and how it plays out and you know for for Taylor specifically she signs up for this app follows a romantic lead assuming that it's going to be a man and shows up and it's a woman and she goes you know what why not I'm going to take a chance on this because I have a connection with this person and I have a connection the, the two of us as human beings have a connection she never has thought about dating women before she's never kind of explored that possibility in her own life but the fact that she's willing to take the leap of faith and be open to what this connection can bring turns out to be a huge gift and such a beautiful love story that I I'm just very excited for audiences to see everybody go check out love classified it premieres April 16th on Hallmark channel and then catch it the next week April 21st on Hallmark movies now thank you so much thank you very much it's been such a pleasure (laughs) 